What's up guys, we're here and today I'm gonna to kinda of go over my leveling build for season three of Diablo 4. Let's get right into it. As you can see, I'm gonna be playing Sork or Sorcerer. This is gonna be, I'm a Sork main, so this is the build or the class that I'm gonna be playing. And I know I got a bunch of gear slots here, guys, but I just kinda of wanted to go over what exactly I am gonna be playing. And that is gonna be Firewall. Firewall is going to be super powerful this season. You could do Chain Lightning. Um, though that would be the only other build type or variant I would do. But Firewall is going to be super powerful with all the new item changes or new items that are coming into Season 3. Now, the reason that I did Firewall, I did Firewall last season as my leveling build for Sork. But I think it's just a super tanky build and does a lot of damage. To note, there is one thing you will be spending a good amount of time just kind of like when you're dropping your firewalls you're just kind of moving around you know kind of waiting for them to die but what's going to help with that is our fireball enchantment okay so when it, when we kill an enemy they're going to explode dealing you know 50 percent of fireballs damage which is really cool and then of course we have fireball enchantment in there okay we're going to be rocking teleport ice armor fire flame shield this isn't going to be there we're actually going to take uh inferno and then we got firebolt and firewall that's going to be the core until we get up to the higher levels then it's going to change slightly okay but firewall overall is going to be really really powerful it's a big aoe wall you're going to be able to do lots of damage to all of the enemies while you're kind of moving around just utilizing all of your defenses so uh i created a guide i'm gonna drop this down in the description below it has the full skill tree here and it takes you level by level just to show you exactly what you need to do for your build as you continue to level up what exactly you need to take now obviously this is just the way i've done it and what i think is best but you can change this along the way if you think you need to you know add the additional points in the enhancement and then the integrator fireball or destructive fireball if you want to just add that on if you just want to use fireball right off the bat um, you know, if you want to put more points into that, that is fine. But just the base fireball is going to be super strong. Um, you don't need to add the third point into flickering firebolt or anything like that. We basically took points as we're going to exactly hit the marks to where we can get to firewall the fastest. So we're not putting a whole lot of points into extra skills. Now, you guys are probably going to ask, like, well, why isn't fireball on here first? So when you're first leveling, you will have fireball on here. Okay, you're going to have fireball. You know, obviously it's not going to bounce because of my weapon, but you're going to have fireball first until you hit, what is it, level 20. Once you hit 20, you're going to be able to swap over to firewall and you'll just drop fireball and it'll be just your enhancement slot. And you're going to really do a lot of damage. So if you wanted to, and you want to put more points into fireball and then into destructive fireball, you know, just to make fireball stronger as you're leveling, by all means do that. I just took the points because just fireball by itself is going to be strong enough at the lower levels just to destroy everything, especially when you have fireball in there with the enhancement slot. Uh, but the build itself is just going to be super strong as you're leveling through. You're going to have a lot of protection with align the elements protection and mana shield you're going to be pretty tanky you're going to have ice armor you're going to have flame shield which is just going to add another barrier that is also the reason that we're not taking frost nova okay as much as i like frost nova frost nova freezes everything i think that's great you can do it if you don't want to rock flame shield by all means just drop flame shield just take frost nova okay you're going to get the extra points there and you can just you know, you can you could take Frost Nova into Enhanced. I probably wouldn't need to go anything higher than that. But if you want to, by all means, do that for sure. Okay, I may swap this later on. Um, if I feel like I'm too tanky and I don't need the additional shield from Flame Shield, uh, then I'll probably just swap over to Frost Nova. But right now, this is what I really like. Um, I don't think at the lower levels, Frost Nova is necessarily needed. Um, but if you are having issues like taking too many hits or you're dying or something like that yeah definitely drop flame shield and go grab frost nova okay but the build is pretty sound it's going to be super strong uh this season and what is really great about starting off with um firewall guys is because you're going to be able to go right into meteor okay we talked about this in a previous video you're going to uh you know kind of theory crafting our meteor build but flame wall is going to go perfectly into meteor you're already going to have a lot of the skills set up you're already going to get a lot of the items and gear pieces 
that will have all the affixes that you need towards Meteor. So you're only gonna have to make a mild change, whereas if you went Chain Lightning for your leveling build, you're gonna have to make a huge change because all of your powers and stuff is gonna be different. But I like Firewall, it's gonna be great. Now, um, just to go over kind of the some of the gear pieces that you're gonna be looking for, I only have three. Again, you can add as many other ones as you want as you're leveling. I just kind of put down the main ones that you're gonna need while you're leveling, or the most important ones in my opinion. Disobedience is by far gonna be the most important one. Again, guys, these are all codexes, as you can see here, which means you can just go complete the dungeon to get them. They will be at the lowest mark, but still, it's the power is huge. You're gonna you're gonna need it, okay? So you have both of those, right? I'm going disobedience for just huge armor, so that way you're super tanky. Firewall is a super tanky build. You just lack a little bit of the damage output, but however, the build is just great. Uh, then we got prodigies. Every time we use a cooldown, we're gonna restore mana, and then we have aspect of control because while we're um, stunning immobilize or frozen enemies we're going to deal more damage so that's another reason why guys if you really once you get your control aspect if you want to swap over from flame shield into frost nova just to kind of help with that additional crowd control effect of freeze you could definitely do that it just helps keep it proc more often we do have points into um, our fire skills here to be able to immobilize them which is pretty nice or burn them etc so if you want to make that swap once you get control aspect you can definitely do that um those are the only main ones i needed if you want to add anything else guys definitely do it these are the only ones you need uh to note here while you're doing this build or any this is for any class you need to put all of the main aspects that you're going to use through like if you're playing twisting blades if you're playing you know the new charge build for barbarian if you're playing you know anything lightning storm stuff for druid you're going to want to put them on your amulet and rings the reason for this is because these are going to be the items that you're not going to replace as often okay as you're leveling up you're not going to replace rings a whole lot you're not going to replace amulets a whole lot you can pretty much do these i remember in this season season two i used a sacred amulet until i was about level 90 because of the just the the affixes that are were actually on my amulet it just made it like i had no reason to upgrade to ancestral because i couldn't find anything better than that right so you want to put the powers here you're always going to be upgrading your weapons and gear just along the way looking for anything that's an upgrade so wasting a power on a weapon slot or a gear slot is just not viable you're just going to waste the power especially at the early levels when you know you can't find them or if you have the codexes you're going to be wasting your resources to, you know, try to imprint those on. You need to save your crystals. You need to save these. It's going to cost a lot when you imprint a piece or legendary item from a codex. So just do it once, save it, put it on your amulet or rings for now. And then once you get into world tier three and four, then you can change things around. That would be a huge, huge suggestion for that. Okay. Now we are going to have a build video or a, excuse me, a leveling guide coming to you guys. Uh, shortly but yeah this is this is the build i really do enjoy i just kind of wanted to go over this really really quick it's going to be super tanky you're going to do a lot of damage and it's just going to be really really fun to just have you know a whole sorcerer theme this season of being just all you know fire i really love enjoy the the fire builds it just it just kind of sucked in the last couple seasons where we really didn't get anything super strong like incinerate was fairly weak like fireball was just okay you use it for the enchantment slot and firewall was great for leveling but now we really have a good reason to play it in the end game so uh but we're gonna be swapping over to meteor because meteor is gonna be sweet but yeah guys this is my leveling build uh this is what i'm gonna be playing to tuesday when i start season three after i get off work so uh yeah i'll leave it a link to this down in the description below if you guys want to or if you guys are playing sork make sure to like the video comment down below let me know if you guys are playing sork or what class you're going to be playing at the start of season three and what build you are going to be using don't forget to subscribe guys and turn on notifications and as always stay gaming i'll catch you guys in the next one peace